It is Boomtown Week here at Crime 2, and we are committed to covering all the growth that we are seeing across the region and what it means for you and your family. Tonight, we turn our attention to the push to bring professional soccer to Spokane. Mark Hanrahan had a chance to sit down for an exclusive one on one interview with the team's owners. Yeah, a month after the announcement that men's and women's teams were coming to Spokane, I talked with the team's owners about timelines, tickets, and why they think the United Soccer League is a good fit for the Lilac City. What about the Spokane market was attractive to you for launching professional soccer? I mean, yeah. Spokane is a sports town, right? We really felt like putting a, a truly professional sports organization in Spokane was a once in a generation opportunity for the city. They are the couple behind the effort to bring pro soccer to Spokane. Katie and Ryan Harnato are the faces in front of a private ownership group, and they are knee deep in everything logistics, rosters, team names, and crests. Just last month, the couple announced they are launching not one, but three United Soccer League teams to play in the new downtown stadium, slated to be completed next fall. For folks who are not familiar with soccer, it's professional soccer, but kind of where does it fall in terms of professional soccer? Sure, so USL <coughs> has two men's professional leagues. One is the Championship League, which is Tier 2, which would be right below MLS, and then Tier 3 is the League 1 team that Spokane will get. Ryan, a Spokane native and Gonzaga graduate, says the goal is to launch the men's professional team in April of 2024. A few months later, they'll debut a women's pre-professional team that will consist of college or even high school athletes. Then, shortly after, they'll debut the professional women's club. We were attracted to USL from the get-go because they have pay equity, gender equity. That is part of their model, and that we believe in that really strongly. And so for us, it was, okay, this isn't about joining a situation like MLS that's already exists. This is about us being able to build out something that's right. The couple says each team will have about 20 players on their roster. The professional teams will play roughly 14 home games per season, and they tell me they are already hearing from agents and players who want to come to Spokane. Uh, the pro teams, um, those players are coming from all over the United States and even outside of the United States. There's a lot of interest in coming here to play pro soccer. It's been a long and somewhat controversial road to get here. In 2018, Spokane voters approved a bond measure that included funding to renovate the aging Joe Alby Stadium, and in an advisory vote, people suggested keeping it at its current location. But after three years of back and forth, the Spokane Public School Board decided to build a new 5,000-seat stadium downtown where the city's local high schools can play their games. Then last year, another decision. Brett Sports, who owns the Spokane Indians and Chiefs, pitched bringing a Tier 2 Major League Soccer team to the city, but the Public Facility District's Board of Directors voted to go with the USL's proposal, which included a $4 million investment into the stadium. It's going to be very loud, and it's going to be very fun, and you're going to really feel like you're, you're right there. So I don't think there'll be a terrible seat in the house. It's going to be really awesome. In terms of tickets, you'll sell uh, season tickets. Yep. And will the season tickets be for just one team or for all the clubs, or how's that going to work? Yeah, good, good question. So right now we have a uh, season ticket deposit list, mm -hmm. and we have about 2,300 season ticket deposits down right now. So when we release those and start converting those into actual season ticket packages, at that point, he says, people will choose between tickets for the men's or women's team. Ryan says their intention is to sell about 34 to 3,500 season tickets and keep about 2,000 seats available per game for the public to walk up and buy a ticket. But our goal is to keep it affordable yeah. and that families can go and that you could get tickets to a men's game, a women's game, that you could have a weekend of soccer and it would be a really great and affordable family activity. There was a lot of work to get done in the next 18 months. The Harnitos say they're still looking for corporate sponsors to partner with. There are coaches to hire, rosters to fill, and a ton of logistics to iron out. And then there's the pressing task of deciding team names and crests that the community can rally behind. It has been late night phone calls. It's been crowdsourcing. It's been voting with our kids. It's been, uh, th this has been a monumental process. Yeah, so we, we, we hope to be able to roll out the crests and the team names before the end of this year. That's our hope. 
So Ryan mentioned they have more than 2,000 season ticket deposits that have already been made by mm -hmm. fans. Those deposits are $20 per seat on the USL Spokane's website right now. And Ryan says if you are interested, he recommends getting one sooner rather than later because they are certainly going quick. It's very exciting to have this caliber yeah. of sporting events here in our town. It'll be interesting to see how it all unfolds yeah. and to see what the stadium looks like mm -hmm. when it's done, right? Yeah, lots of excitement there. Yeah, Good for story. Sure.